What's up, everyone? My name is Joe Cox, and thank you for tuning in to Josie Talks Photo. As always, we do have a new plant for the video. Second, this is an unscripted video. And third, this video is going to cover my own personal workflow, so there will be some things included, some things excluded. In case you missed our last video, you should be able to find that on the screen and now. But we were working in Adobe Lightroom, specifically the Develop module. And in that video, we covered the color grading panel. Today's video is going to be a little bit different, still working in Develop module, but we are looking at the Detail panel. So let's go ahead and dive on in. First thing you will notice is up top, we are in Develop. Moving down and to the right, you will see our develop or Detail panel, excuse me, right down here. We're going to click and open that. First thing you will see is a tiny little preview window. If you click on that, you will either zoom in or zoom out. And depending on where your cursor is or hovered in the photo, that is where it will zoom you in or out of. Additionally, you can click and drag to navigate around your photo while zoomed in or zoomed out. Up in this little top, you will see this little tool. It's telling you you can adjust detail zoom area by clicking in the photo. I personally hate this tool and I'm not showing you that tool. It messes up my workflow so bad every, or every time I use it and I'm not doing it, I refuse. So we're skipping over that one. Diving back in, up in the top right, if you close down this little preview window, Lightroom's gonna tell you to please zoom in to 100% or larger so you can have accurate previews, but we don't care. We're gonna open our little preview window again and zoom in. Next, moving down, first thing we do hit is sharpening here. So sharpening is going to be the crisp or clarity of your photo essentially. So you can go in, see all those little details and be like, oh, look at that perfect edge. I can totally see that. So first thing I do wanna cover is all of these sliders do have a preset value, so the amount is set at 40, the radius is set at 1, the details at 25, and masking is 0. Up at the top, the amount slider is quite literally the amount of sharpening that we are applying to the photo. If we go below 40, we're reducing some of the sharpening. If we go all the way up to 150, we're applying a ton of sharpening to the photo. Radius is kind of interesting because it is talking about the edge, or the contrasting edge thickness, if you will. So if you go down in radius, you have a thinner contrasting edge from the sharpening you're applying. If you go up in radius, you now have a much thicker contrasting edge from the sharpening you're applying. If you go into detail, that is quite literally talking about the amount of sharpening that's going to go into the detail. So if you take your detail down to zero, it is only going to apply sharpening on the most pronounced detail. Whereas if you move it all the way up to 100, it is going to apply sharpening on every detail. Even the small, tiny little details, they're getting sharpened as well now. One of the things that you will notice that can kind of be a bad thing from over sharpening is going to be, we did add noise. So if I go up into the live preview, click and hold that, you'll see our before and after. Especially out in this area, you can notice a lot of that noise or grain coming into the photo because we over sharpen things. So you can either go back in and adjust the amount radius in detail to try and get rid of some of that noise, or you can go into masking. And masking is nice because masking allows you to control where the sharpening is being applied in the photo. So at zero, it is being applied to the whole photo. At 100, it is only going to sharpen the most pronounced edges. So there again, looking at our photo, we're at 100% on masking, so there should be no sharpening happening out here. If we go down to zero, where sharpening is now happening on all of our photo, you'll notice it got a lot grainier. So that is a good way to help try and save some of that grain or noise from appearing from over sharpening. But now moving down, we do have noise reduction. Lightroom has finally provided us with their own AI noise reduction. So all you have to do is click on this denoise and it will do its best job to get rid of the noise on your image. You will notice that if you do that, it will result with the image being saved as a new DNG. My suspected reason they're doing that is they don't want to create a destructive element in um, Lightroom, so they essentially don't want to make a permanent altercation to your original file. That's why they're then going to go and make a new file for you. So you do have that option, or you can go down and manually noise reduce yourself. So if you click and open that, you do either have a luminance noise reduction or a color noise reduction. So when you're working in the luminance noise reduction, it is working with the noise that's in the black and white value range. So 
When we move into the luminance slider, we can start reducing the amount of noise that's in our photo. And then when we go down to our detail slider, there again, we can either save some of the detail, but we will save some of that noise, or we can get rid of the detail and inversely get rid of more of that noise. With the contrast, because there again, we are working with black and white color pixels, uh, we're going to be adjusting that contrast to create a nice balance between them to help reduce that noise. Hey you, yes you, quick interruption to your video. Did you know that I also make merch for this channel? I've got things like coffee cups for you. I've got you covered with wall art. I've even got you covered with hoodies and other apparel. I mean, just check out all of this good stuff. So not only are your purchases going to supporting this channel and helping others become more educated on photo and video, but a portion of those proceeds also get donated to the Simplify in America's fund. So not only are you helping out this channel right here, but you're also supporting the men and women who served in our armed forces. That is kick ass of you, way to go you. But check out the link in the description down below, go find something you absolutely adore, and let's continue to all support each other out here. It's tough out here, it really is. But I love you, you're each beautiful people, and you know that, but otherwise, let's get you back to your video now. So if we go up or down in contrast, Basically, and you can notice it down here real well, we're changing the contrasting of that black and white to either get it to balance better or balance worse, essentially. Moving down into our color noise reduction, it's kind of hard to see with this photo, but if I move left, it adds some color noise. And if I move right, it gets rid of some of that color noise. Same thing with the detail, you either bump it up, try and save some of that detail that's coming from the color, or you can bump it down and get rid of some of that noise, but also get rid of your detail. And then the reason we have smooth this instead of contrast is there again, we are now dealing in color instead of black and white. Um, with color, it is going to be smoothing out the color between different color ranges. Whereas that black and white, we're going to be adding or controlling the contrast to smooth out the black and white ranges. Um, so there again, yeah, pretty simple there. But otherwise I'm gonna go back up top close our detail panel for today and that is going to cover our video so pretty simple stuff it can be a little intimidating i do also want to make the note of i never touch sharpening until the very very last step before i export my photo noise i might do or noise reduction i should say i might do kind of early but that sharpening of my photo that is my very last step every single time but otherwise, I appreciate you guys tuning in. I will catch you the next time. And as always, don't forget to subscribe. Coming out with a lot of good information. And I don't want you to miss out. But otherwise, thank you, thank you.